Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in this video, I would like to show you and explain to you how you can share a custom list with others in SharePoint Online. Uh, here's a scenario. Let me explain to you what I'm talking about. So uh, let's say you have a custom list that you created. And of course, our custom list resides on a SharePoint site. Uh, in my case, I happen to have this main internet landing page and I have a SharePoint list that resides on that particular site. Let me show you. So I have site, go, I go to site contents. Here's my project list, all right? Now, I want to be able to share this list with John, all right? John at the moment does not have access to the site. So let me show you uh, just uh, to prove the point. So at the moment, John, you know, Mary and I, we have access to the site, John doesn't. I want to share the list with John, but I do not want to give John any access to my site all right so how do we make it happen so you see in the past in the past we um, had uh, a few choices we either had to invite uh, john into the site so and of course that would uh, give john access uh, to to the list uh, or we had to go behind the scenes to list settings and essentially create unique permissions uh, for the list, all right? We had to, um, by default, the list, of course, inherits permission from the site. So we had to break that inheritance and create some sort, you know, essentially invite John just to the list and share URL uh, of just the list with John, all right? Uh, so essentially, that's what we had to do in the past. Well, luckily, luckily, uh, now uh, we have this share button, which allows us to do just that. So when we share, a list using this button, where essentially what it's doing in the background, just to explain to you, it's actually breaking the inheritance between a custom list and a site and assigning unique permissions, uh, whatever you set up in here, all right? So as I demonstrate this to you, I want uh, you to keep in mind that essentially what it does, uh, it saves you some time um, uh, you know, going behind the scenes and setting up unique permissions like we used to do it in the past, and it pretty much uh, it's all done automatically for you the minute you click the share button. So let me demonstrate just that. So let's go ahead and share this list with John. All right, so I'm going to click share button over here. And there are three choices I have. There are three choices I have. I can um, give John view access, all right? And uh, essentially John will just have the ability to view, maybe edit the list, all right? Um, and full control. All right, with full control, uh, essentially John will be able to add, edit, delete anything of the list as well as uh, you know adjust our list settings, etc. All right, so let's make it happen. Let's go ahead and sh essentially um, share this list with John. Uh, I'm going to type in John's name. Perfect, and let's give John edit access. All right, so uh, John will be able to uh, add, edit, delete items on the list, but not do anything else, not be able to delete a list and nothing else. So here we go. Uh, let's not send an email, perfect. All right, so let me just prove this uh, to you now. Let's copy the list. Here we go. All right, let's see if John has access to the list now. Look at this, John has access to the list. And because we gave John the ability to uh, add, added, delete items on the list, that's exactly what John can do, all right? Uh, and uh, we did not uh, give uh, John uh, full control, so John can't really, you know, adjust the list settings. Uh, all right, um, I remember how I used to have list settings on my other screen. Essentially, that option is not available for John. And just to sh also explain to you, John does not have access to anything else on that site. I just shared the list. So you see, if I go directly to the URL of the site, that's where my list resides, essentially uh, access denied, right? Uh, now, just to show you, just to show you what happened behind the scenes when I click the share button, just to explain to you what we, how we used to do it in the past, uh, gear icon, um, list settings, permissions for this list. Essentially, look what happened. Look what happened when I gave John the ability to edit this list. Uh, the list, uh, you know, the permissions between a list and a site has been broken. You see, it says list has unique permissions. Uh, and essentially, it added John with contribute permission level. 
All right. So again, this is something we, this is not the new ability. This is something we used to have in the past. Uh, all right. We just had to go behind the scenes and, you know, create unique, you know, uh, break the inheritance, create unique permissions, add individuals, assign, you know, proper permission level. Right now it's pretty much done all for you with a click of, of a button. All right. And uh, that's essentially what happens when you share, uh, when you share a list with, um, with uh, someone else. All right. Uh, so that's all I wanted to explain to you in this particular video. Hopefully you learned something new. As always, happy to see you on my blog, sharepointmaven.com, as well as my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.